Hey everybody and welcome to episode 279 of Unboxing Wednesdays for comics arriving in stores on Wednesday, March 2nd, 2016. Ricky, today is a huge day. Not only uh, did we have snowmageddon overnight, <laughs> we've been buried uh, in up to seven feet of snow here Great. in Brampton. Not quite that much, but you get the point. Uh, it's also the release of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number one. Here it is. I hold it in my hands. I'm going to show you some variants and stuff for it in a bit. This is Jamal Campbell's cover. Jamal will be here signing at the store from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, we're really excited about that. And uh, not only is Jamal going to be here signing, but he's, he'll also be sketching for folks as well. And uh, if you buy a copy of this book uh, today uh, as part of our event, Boom Studios has been kind enough to send us a whole bunch of freebies. Let me show you. The first free thing you're going to get, Rick, is this poster. You mind holding that up oh, for people? Man. How many of these do we have? 18 by 24 poster, uh, which is pretty legit. We, we have a bunch of them. We have enough, I think, to, to last us the day. And uh, you can actually get this signed by Jamal as well because it's his cover on the poster. So that's awesome. That's going to look great hanging up in the store here. They've also sent us these cool Power Rangers stickers, some uh, coloring pages for Power Rangers, and an awesome lithograph style print uh, of the Red Ranger. These are all free with your purchase of Power Rangers all issue number one. at the same time? All of them at the same time. Wow. All of them like in one package. Okay. You get you get all of them. You don't have to just choose the stickers or the poster. You get all of them. So make sure you come by our store. It's going to be an awesome day. Jamal's going to be signing starting at 3 o'clock. He'll be here till at least 7. Uh, we'll see what happens after 7 o'clock. Um, yeah, hope to see you all here if you're in the area. And if not, you can send us well wishes from afar, from abroad. Anyway, Ricky, we got a lot to get to today, so let's go ahead and open up some boxes. All right, first up today we've got some collectibles. Here is Batman and Superman from The Dark Knight Returns action figures. We've got a Wilson Fisk Funko figure from the Daredevil show and Captain Jack Sparrow from Pirates of the Caribbean. A Batmobile based on the classic Batman 66 series, coin bank, and a Harley Quinn coin bank. And speaking of Harley Quinn, we've got this Mad Love resin statue based on the animated series version of Harley. All right, we've got some interesting stuff from DC today. We've got a bunch of uh, hardcover graphic novels that also come with the animated version of the same story. Uh, this is Throne of Atlantis with the Throne of Atlantis DVD. This is Batman The Dark Knight Returns with the animated Blu-ray and DVD. And we also have Superman Batman Public Enemies with the same uh, Blu-ray DVD combination. DC Comics Bombshells Volume 1, Superman Unchained, now available in softcover. Pitiful Human Lizard, Volume 1 by our good friend Jason Liu. Harley Quinn and Power Girl, here in softcover. If you've ever dreamt of coloring Jim Lee's pencils, now is your opportunity with this Batman Hush coloring book. Injustice Gods Among Us, the complete collection for year one, collected here in softcover. And we have a Star Wars original graphic novel. This tells uh, the story of episodes 4, 5, and 6. From New Hope to Return of the Jedi. Um, here in one graphic novel. Alright, new today from Chapter House Comics. We have Captain Canuck issue 7. We also have the first issue of all new, all classic Captain and Canuck issue 0. And here's the blank cover for that as well. But also out from Chapter House today is Pitiful Human Lizard 5 and 6. 6 also has a blank cover. Here's the Violent Issue 3, Predator Life and Death number 1. A new one from Oni Press, it's Another Castle, issue number 1. Issue number 1 of Dynamite's rebranding of Vampirella is here. It is written by Kate Leth. And here's Bob's Burgers number 9. Street Fighter Unlimited number 4. Interceptor number 3 by Dylan Burnett. The Discipline, issue number 1. The Walking Dead, issue 152. And of course, we've got Power Rangers issue number one, which we showed you at the beginning of the uh, episode. The cool thing about this, as Ricky pointed out, is on the cover we have Jamal's artwork, and on the back we have an ad for uh, Dylan Burnett's new book that he's doing with Cy Spurrier in uh, May. It's called The Weavers. Interesting fact is both of those artists are good friends and part of the same artist collective 
from a hat. We've got a bunch of Power Rangers number one variants to show you. Here's the first. Then we've got this variant that's a throwback to the, uh, re to the uh, original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers comic. Here's a blank cover. I'm sure Jamal will be sketching on some of these today at our store. This one's called the Villain Variant. And this one is the Action Figure Variant. We've got a cool painted variant here. This is the 1 in 50 variant. This is the Dustin Wynn 1 in 100 cover. This is the Paul Pope 1 in 200 foil cover. Very cool, very rare. So I know I'm sounding like a broken record, but uh, please, if you're a fan of Power Rangers or a fan of comics in general, make sure you come by our store today, 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Brave the uh, large, immensely large snowbanks, and uh, don't trip on any ice, but still run down to Stadium Comics for 3 o'clock. Jamal will be here signing copies of his book, and you're going to get all that free stuff, too. Uh, which is really cool. Moving on to DC, first up today we have a second printing of Poison Ivy, The Cycle of Life and Death, number one. Batman Beyond, number 10, along with this awesome Batman Superman variant cover. Batgirl 49, Batman and Robin Eternal, number 22. Bombshells, number 10. Swamp Thing, number 3 of 6. Injustice Gods Among Us Year 5, number 5. Green Lantern, number 50. And the Batman Superman variant for Green Lantern. Moving on to Marvel, we've got Avengers Assemble Season 2, Civil War. This is issue number one. Old Man Logan, number three. Guardians of Infinity, number four. Obi-Wan and Anakin, number two. This is a second printing. Uncanny X-Men, number four. Invincible Iron Man, number seven. Here is the issue seven variant. A-Force, number three. Uncanny Avengers, number six. Nova, number five. Darth Vader, number 17. A new Spider-Man and Silk series. It's Amazing Spider-Man and Silk. The Spiderfly Effect. Deadpool issue 8, the Deadpool 8 variant, the Deadpool Making It Rain variant, and the Deadpool Woman of Power variant featuring Deadpool 2099. And here's the Deadpool uh, The Fourth Wall variant by Howard Chaikin. Black Widow issue 1, a new one from Marvel today, which means we have a Scotty Young cover, an action figure cover, a Women of Power variant, and a hip hop cover. Here's Spider Man issue number 2. Here's the Spider-Man issue 2 variant. And finally today we have Avengers Standoff Assault on Pleasant Hill Alpha issue 001. Couple of variant covers for that book. This is the Arthur Adams variant. And we also have this Jay Fosgett variant featuring Gwenpool. We also got in some uh, DC Comics uh, Dynamic Forces variants. Here is a Ninja Turtles sketch cover. This is one out of 1500 copies. This is a color version of that same book, uh, limited to 2,500 copies. And this is a Bruce Timm variant uh, for Dark Knight 3, issue number one, limited to 2,500 copies. All right, guys, so last week we asked you uh, who is the crappiest member on a team, either made up or for real. Uh, Ken I said uh, the worst Spider-Verse character. George was bit by a spider, but he didn't get any superpowers. Just a really bad infection. While the other spider heroes are fighting bad guys, he's taking antibiotics and dealing with the pain. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. He's like, yeah, you, you guys go on without me. And he's like, ooh, ooh, I'm, I'm dying here. Uh, Cedric Levesque said the worst team member is Kevin from Unboxing Wednesdays. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Because he doesn't give prices like Ricky. He doesn't have the swag of Ricky. Kevin, don't worry, you're great. Yeah, you know, Kevin's all right. He's a good guy. I uh, definitely wouldn't say he's the worst, but, you know, mid-tier of the Who team. Who pays for the prizes, Cedric? <laughs> Who pays for them? Uh, who's this guy? <laughs> Just shouting out. Mike Bighead said, uh, Courtney Love from Hole because she killed Kurt Cobain. She's a nasty uh, blank blank Nirvana and Foo Fighters forever. Ouch, man. That's some venom you're throwing out at Courtney Love, you know? Hasn't been proven that she killed Kurt Cobain, but I mean, right? Come on, right? But the winner goes to Charlie McCabe, who said, The Men in Black, a new member joins called Bob, but every time they erase people's memories, he doesn't put on the glasses, and they have to keep telling him who he is and what his job is and what the Men in Black is. Dude, you'd think after, like, you know, the third time, they'd be like, let's, let's just leave it, you know? He's he's not on the team anymore. And then just move on from there. Hire someone else. Because if you're not putting on the glasses, what are you doing? What are you doing? So congratulations, Shadow McCabe. You're going into the draw at the end of the month to win uh, 
possibly some comic box here. In honor of uh, Power Rangers number one and the signing that will be happening with Jamal Campbell today, uh, we'll be asking a question about Power Rangers. So imagine you and a small group of friends all have Power Ranger abilities and you could transform into one giant Zord. What would the Zord be? So it could be anything in the world that you combine into, I think me and my friends, if you remember them from the Flavorful Sauce, we would transform into a giant butt and we would have farting abilities and possibly pooping abilities, who knows, might be a little vulgar for uh, the comic, but you know what, whatever. You know, farting and pooping, that's what you need. So that, that's the kind of Zord that we would make. What's the kind of Zord you and your friends would make? Best answer would be entered into the draw to win a comic boxer box. All right, everybody, that is it for this week's episode. Thank you once again for watching. Uh, I want to remind you all to check out uh, stadiumcomics.com. Our web store can be found there. You'll find all kinds of cool things up for pre-order in the coming months. And also you'll find our vast collection of DC, Marvel, and other publishers' back issues. You can shop from there, free shipping US or Canada on orders over $50. Ricky, I understand there's something you want to talk about before we end today? That's right. Uh, sometime this week, a new Kickstarter for a book I'm in uh, will be starting. It's called the Toronto Comics Anthology, and it's about uh, stories that take place in Toronto. Um, and it's also a comics anthology. When are you going to start a Brampton comics anthology, oh, man. Ricky? What, what would be in it? Stadium Comics and that's it, man. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Well, keep, That's what people want. Keep an eye out. We'll see. We'll see. Alright, so Toronto Comics Anthology yeah. Kickstarter. I'm sure that you'll be putting out links mm -hmm. once, uh, it's once it's up. Yeah, so watch Ricky's social yeah. channels for all of that stuff. If you ever hang out around the uh, King and Simcoe area, you'll recognize a lot of the buildings. It takes place right there. That's, uh, I'm, I'm there a lot. Nice. So. <laughs> all right, so check that out. Check out all of these websites here where you can connect with us. Check out our Snapchat. Snapchat's on fire right oh, now. I was taking all kinds of pictures of Ricky talking on the phone earlier. Unsolicited pictures, I know. Uh, so check out Snapchat. Our, uh, our user ID there is Stadium Comics, all one word. What? Thank you so much, everybody. Have a great day, uh, and we'll see you next time for episode 280. Take care and enjoy your comics this week.